What's going on everybody? Frank Slauson here with another great video. And finally, this is a positive video. I don't know, the whole Patrick Butler situation was kind of like a topsy-turvy thing and whatnot. And, uh, a lot of people were kind of wondering what the hell is up with that. Well, I'm going to be doing two things today. I'm going to give you a tour of my location, where I'm living, finally, and uh, do a review on something. Uh, but I'm going to do the review first, and then... Uh, then do the tour make a quick little video it's not gonna be that long but just just to say what I have and uh, finally give you guys the tour the location because I know there's been some people asking me well Frankie I see the pink or the pink walls or whatever what's up with that well I'll go into detail on that a little bit in a little bit here but uh, anyway uh, I recently purchased something last Friday from Walmart I wasn't sure if I was gonna do it or not but uh, I finally said, well, what the hell? What do I got to lose, you know? It's it's not the version that I wanted, you know? But it's the one that, you know, since I only have... Well, my brother only has the right system for it. That's why I got it. What am I talking about? Doody, 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 doody. Ha ha. Ghostbusters, the video game. Now, I know it's not the Xbox 360 version. I know it's not the PS3 version. But it's pretty much the same thing. You know, I noticed that the Xbox 360 version and the PSC version has more detail. Plus, there's more, there's more, <clears throat> a couple extra challenges or whatnot, extra things to do, extra voices or whatever, or like, you know, everything looks more real. A lot real. And this, on the other hand, looks a lot more like a cartoon. But the reason why they did that was because PS2, you know, which really surprised the hell of me that they're still making PS2 games, because... You figure by now that they'd stop doing that. And I'm pretty sure sooner or later they're going to stop production on all PS2 games and just stick with PS3 and Xbox 360. But they know that there's still a few of us around here that uh, uh, can't really afford, you know, well, I guess we could afford it if we stopped buying other things. But, uh, you know, there's so many things out there that uh, that I want anyway right now that I'm not really interested in buying a PS3 or an Xbox 360 right now. But I was happy to pick this up. I have played this a little bit. I even brought it over to my brother's place, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I mean, it is a very good game. Uh, the only thing that I don't like about it, and, and if you have the PS2 version, let me know if this happens to you too. Uh, once you start playing the game, within like maybe a half an hour or so, this has happened a couple times now, where it freezes up. Now, I don't understand why that is, if it's just because the, the play, PS2 gets too hot, or, or the disc gets too hot or something. But here I am, you know, finally want to play a game. Because I, I, you know, I haven't played, like, uh, an actual video game for a long time as far as starting it and finishing it. You know, most of the time, I would play it a little bit, try it out, and get bored of it, you know. But this, I actually want to play and, and, and uh, you know, play as much as I can. But I get into it, and all of a sudden, here within a half an hour or so, then it starts, then it freezes up or locks up. And then I have to restart. Luckily, I can save, you know, where I left off, but... It's still kind of annoying to have that. So I don't know if this happens to everybody else. Let me know. Leave comments below. The one thing I like about this is you can't die. I don't know if it's like that on the PS2 version or the Xbox 360 version. But you can't die. You just, you know, lose your health a little bit or kind of, you know, regain strength a little bit. But you don't die. You know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, you know, because I'm sure a lot of people are thinking, what do you mean you don't die? You're supposed to die in games like this. No, nope, you don't. And, you know, you could have stuff thrown at you, whatever. But the thing about it, what I wish I could do is play as one of the Ghostbusters, you know. I'm not sure if you can do that on the Xbox 360 version or PSC version. Here you just play as one of the rookie Ghostbusters, male or female. But you earn stuff along the way, and you unlock stuff along the way. Vigo's in here, you know, everybody's in here, and it's just a good game. And I figure, I wasn't sure if I was going to get it, but... This is one that I was originally going to order from Amazon.com here a couple weeks back, but I, I did because I was afraid that they were going to do what they did back in October, that, you know, when they were top, thinking about releasing the game, then they decided to wait another day or to change the time. But I was pretty confident that this is they were going to go through it this time. It all cost me 20 bucks, so I'm not going to really complain too much. That was pretty nice. I mean, it's really uh, pretty nice inside. It comes with the booklet. You know, I found the disc, of course. You know, just imagine a nice disc like this. I love the detail, you know. I'm taking the, the PSC version 
and the Xbox 360 version. A little bit more detail, probably. And I looked at the intro, like the introductions or whatnot, of what the PSC version and Xbox 360 version has. Their introductions are a lot more creative, we'll say, than the uh, PS2 version. But it's still pretty much the same. I mean, like I said, I only paid 20 bucks for this. I didn't pay 60 If I would have paid 60 and all these things were happening or whatever, then I'd probably be a little disappointed. But it's a good game. And for anybody that likes Ghostbusters, I'm going to get one of my nephews in, in, you know, involved, you know, with this game. So, you know, he, he likes it. And he was like, you can kill ghosts? It's like, yeah, it's called the Ghostbusters, you know. Try to get everybody knowledgeable. I would even try to get my girlfriend into this game, you know. She's, she didn't... She doesn't remember watching any of the Ghostbusters, which eventually we will, you know, I will bring over my copy, you know, where is that, you know, bring over this over here and play this, you know, and, and knowledge her a little bit about the Ghostbusters. She knows I'm a huge Ghostbuster freak, so she knows that one day we will watch both movies and, you know, right now I'm just trying to get her into the game or make her understand the concept of it. So anyway... So that's what I wanted to show you. Now it's time for the tour. The tour, the long and awaited tour. I've been living here now over a month, and uh, I figure I would give you a short tour. Now, as you know, this is my computer, which you've seen many, many times in the old apartment. Uh, pretty much, you know, try to erase the pink. Try not to look so much at the pink because it's, it used to be my sister's room. I'll show you my old room at, here in a little bit. But I got all the posters here. <laughs> I got all the posters. I got this poster I got from uh, uh, from Spencer's. I got this from uh, a thrift, shop, thrift store, Dakota Boys Club or whatnot, thrift store or ranch or whatnot. Got the TV here. Now, it's not the big screen TV that I had once before, but everybody knows the story with that. And I got all the collectibles up here. I pretty much have this old room. This is the only computer room that we have, which is kind of nice that I get to you know, use it. Mom and Dad do have another computer, but they'd rather just have me use my own, which I'd rather use my own anyway. Got some stuff up. There's still stuff I got to put up or whatever, but got everything here. Pretty much everything you've seen before. Uh, pretty much all the DVDs. There's some more in the in the cat shelf here. Uh, the Goody posters, of course. You know, pretty much everything you've seen already beforehand. I didn't really get many many new things although this is one of the things I plan on purchasing pretty soon when they come out see that that came with the game Maddie collector but I'll get to more detail once I know more about that but here's the tour of the house here you got the nice bathroom now this house I grew up in pretty much you know and, uh, words can't describe so many cool memories of the house and you know I never thought I'd be living back here again Get my parents' room, you know. Parents' room here. Here I am. Hi. <laughs> Here's what I looked like when I was younger. Believe it or not, I look a lot more, let's say, sexier. <laughs> oh well. Things happen sometimes, you know. There we go. And let's see. Oh, let's see. Well, pretty much. There's the kitchen. This house is really, really old, believe it or not. It's actually about 90, I think almost 100 years old. But we got it remodeled and add on twice. That kitchen here, we got the fridge here. Here's my brother from 05, I believe, or 04 painting. Here's what we looked like back in the day. Just my brother and me and my parents. <laughs> Let's see. And pretty much, you know, just the living room here, nice living room. So Mom and Dad have the old-fashioned TV, of course. One, hopefully they'll get a flat panel here sooner or later. And here more of this. More of this. There's Lucky. There's Lucky the puppy and the doggy. <laughs> and uh, last but not least, I'll show you my room here, my old room. My sister's room now. But, uh, yeah, this used to be my room, and my brother's room, we used to share, you know, nice, nice room. So anyway, that's pretty much a look at 
pretty much a look at the tour, and I want to give you a little take on the video game. And I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, we'll see you for another great Frankie Sausage Show video. Over and out.